always mysteriously know how to gladden my heart. Maybe that's why you're still crazy about me. <laughs> oh, I suppose so. <laughs> My dear, I've been thinking. Yes. Why don't we hold a surprise party for our baby? On her return from the NYSE. Nothing elaborate, just a barbecue party with a few family friends and um, business associates, of course. <laughs> of course. I think that's a brilliant idea. Good. good. But we're not really sure when she's coming back. No problem. One call will take care of that. I'm sorry, sir. I was only trying to stop them from budging him. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Are you police officers? Oh, yes, sir. Right. Um, okay. Go ahead. Go. I'll take care of it. Yes, sir. So, gentlemen, how may I help you? Sir, I am Inspector Ken Ebi from Area E Command, sir. Okay, Ken Ebi, what can I do for you? Sir, do you know any Nancy Ezekiel Obama? With due respect, sir, I just asked a question. I said, do you know any Nancy Ezekiel Obama, sir? No. That name is not in any way familiar. No, not familiar. But, 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 sir, she claims to be your daughter, sir, and, and her driver's license confirms the surname Ezekiel. What, well, sir? Are you, are, you, are you saying that? I am telling you, I do not know anyone of that name. Neither am I associated in any way with anyone so called. It might interest you to know that the Ezekiel family is a very large one. And most of them I have never been in contact with. But ironically, sir, this particular Nancy Ezekiel Obama arrested in the wee hours of this morning on her way from a nightclub specifically claimed to be your daughter. I know her, sir. She was driving soaked in alcohol. You asked me a question and I answered you. What else do you want? Douglas! Tell me! Douglas! You're sorting a police officer. Behind the wheel of a car, soaked in alcohol. Oh, oh, please. My princess! Oh, oh welcome home, darling. How are you? Good. 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 And you? Good afternoon. Oh, oh hello. I was right. I was right all along, Senator. Isn't this the girl, the lady you claim not to know, sir? Now get this? away from there! Sir, this is the lady. I said put it down! This is the lady. I said, said put something down! down. Sir. 
Dad, that was probably the last picture of Nancy that I had. You are most welcome into our home. Terribly sorry for this embarrassment. I am Senator Douglas Ezekiel, a witness father. I, uh, she's my friend, Angela Badmas. My very good friend, actually. Yeah. You're welcome. Please, yeah, sit down. And um, can we offer you anything? Um, not, not really, sir. Um, I actually just came in to greet the family. My fiance is waiting by the car. Oh. Uh, yes, and I will walk her to the car. wasn't embarrassed. Uh, no, she's fine. Oh, what, what? oh my darling, you look so tired. Why don't you go upstairs and have a good shower and freshen up? And then come down for dinner. Yes? Okay, my darling. What difference does it make, Eric? How long do I have to keep living in penury when I have a billionaire as a father-in-law? Charles, I, I don't get it. Uh, hasn't he been giving you your regular monthly stipend? Oh, damn it, Eric. Look, why on earth should I be living on a monthly allowance? Can't I be involved in his business or some reasonable business venture out there? Can't I? Oh, but it's such a pleasant surprise having you back home. Yeah. When surprising you was kind of like the idea. <laughs> but you know, your father and myself were planning a surprise party for you. Oh, so that I think it's your game for the first time. <laughs> all right, all right, I accept. <laughs> oh, thank you, Bernard. Hello, Bernard. Favorite rice, uh, chicken in butter, and some mixed veg. Thank you, Bernard. 
Certainly, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Celebrating my brilliant daughter. <laughs> hey, Daddy. Feels good. Mm -hmm. Why did you make this? I did better. <laughs> ah. That's perfect. Can you do your father's? It's wonderful. I'm surrounded by my ladies. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Oh, I am being spoiled by my women. Oh. Oh, Lord our Father, bless this food. Let it nourish our souls just like the, the thought of a brilliant daughter nourishes my heart. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I hate to ask, but um, what was that little scene about? Now, why were the police assistants on scene Nancy's picture? Is she in trouble? Is she okay? <coughs> My dear, I, how was uh, um, Jigawa state? <clears throat> you know, I tried her number, it wasn't going through for some reason. Right here, the north is um, very exciting these days. Is she, Mom, do you know if she changed her number? <laughs> Don't let us spoil this blissful, happy reunion with the mention of her name. <sighs> well, I was only wondering, I'm just... She's... Sorry. I think... Um, I... <coughs> Sorry, <dear. coughs> Thank you. I think I'll just go upstairs. To my room. Daddy, I'm sorry. Whitney, you're all I have. You're all I ever wanted in a daughter. And I cherish you from the innermost recesses of my heart. <clears throat> Don't forget that. Don't you forget it. some things that are better left dead. Was I too hard on her? Nancy is still her sister, Douglas. That is a fact we cannot change. We've got to give her time to understand, to come to terms with the realities of this family. It's something that I, I, I cannot give. Now let me tell you, I cannot bear Nancy being around Whitney even for one second. Douglas, they cannot possibly become enemies. You've got to tread softly with her on this. Whitney has so much to do. She has so much on her plate, so much so that she has no space for Nancy. Oh, enough of Nancy!
been a stressful day. Would you like a massage, Douglas? I say amen to that. Ah. Oh. Uh -oh. Now that Whitney's around, a visit to the Madukas would be timely, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Henry should be informed that she's around. <laughs> Why are you chuckling? Oh, the thought of Henry and Whitney. Hmm? <laughs> ah. Oh. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> to your Potaka trip? It went well. I see. Bastard. Moon, that's what you are. You actually looked me in the eye and lied to me, eh, Charlie? Now tell me, did you not get a phone call from the police station? Oh, I did. I tried to get back. Uh, Honestly. You're a bastard. You're a bastard. Do you understand me? Charlie, those policemen went to my father. Do you know why? Because you weren't there, Charlie. You were not there for me. And then you come here lying to me. You told me you were going to Patagot for two days. Two days for a business meeting. You went for one whole week. And then you have the nerves to come here and lie to me, Charlie. You cheating bastard. I wasn't counting. And you get your hands off my shirt. You know why? Because I'm sick and tired of you. Your childlessness, the rejection of your family, and your wicked, unforgiving father. Instead of you to think of ways of warming yourself back into his heart, which of course will lead to spoiled sister has stolen, you stay here and rain abuses at me. You rain insults at me. God help you. Now tell me what is the game? What is the use of getting married to the daughter of Senator Douglas Ezekiel? 
ex-chairman Senate Committee on Petroleum, one of the richest men in the country today. And you stay here and live on just a paltry 500,000 Naira monthly allowance, some lean God for second allowance. Look, it's no use, it's a bullshit. Piece of shit! That's what you are! Piece of shit! the daughter rather than the wife. <laughs> oh, he loves you so much. And all he wants for you is to take over Crystal Towers. I know. I'm grateful that he finds me worthy. You know, since I'm not a boy and all of that. But anyway, I have a big day ahead of me. Come in. There's space oh, for two, mommy. There's space I would for two. love to. Oh. Well. But, um, Unfortunately, I'm on the First Lady's entourage to open um, some rural projects. Well, suit yourself. <laughs> what about that couple friend of yours? Oh, aren't you? Yes. Well, aren't you too close? No, I'm just the thing about it. Okay, all right. Well, I have to get started. One million is a lot of money to spend. Uh, oh, oh, lots of shopping, I can take it. Okay. <laughs> yes, all right, thank you. Yes, Agnes? Uh, sir, the minister is at line two. Right. I'll take it from here. Okay. Hello, Honorable Minister. <laughs> well, yes, Agnes gave me a feedback on the meeting, yes. I think it is absolutely splendid. Yes. Oh, yes, I, I, I really, really look forward to it. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, indeed. <laughs> oh, they are fine. And give my regards to the family. And uh, please tell Henry that uh, Whitney is back home. I hope we'll see you again soon. <laughs> All right. Okay, bye. Hallmark investment is still unattended to. Mm, what do you think we should do? Well, they propped up their bid, considering the re-evaluation from standards. I think they've had a cause for a rethink. Mm, so you think we should give them a chance? Subject to consideration from other departmental heads. Well, weigh everything and summon uh, a meeting accordingly. 18th. On the 18th, you're due in Yola on the 12th. Between the 13th and the 15th, you'll be in Durban, Trans-African South. You're due back on the 16th. And the 17th? Oh, you don't think I would let you back into this office after one whole tiring week? It's your day of rest. You are a tyrant. Yes, ma. <laughs> oh, Agnes. What can I do without you? Absolutely nothing, sir. <laughs> well, uh, when 
hadn't we scheduled a meeting for earlier? Since the new CEO is going to resume very, very soon. Interesting. I'll do just that, sir. You know, Agnes, I'm such a very happy man. My heart is beating with joy. I have waited for years. And now I, I can see with my own eyes everything coming together. That is the dream of every father. Oh, yes, Agnes. I have no regrets of failure, no regrets of uh, disappointment, no regrets of bad memories. Oh, no regrets about... Uh, about... Sir? Nancy. Senator's daughter, how are you doing? I'm very, very well, and the senator's daughter has no time to spend. I have a lot of money to spend. Get ready, we're going shopping. One million. Are no. you serious? My daddy gave me one million because I'm taking over the company. Can you beat that? Ah, am I jealous of you now? Oh, look who's talking. You're the one who's getting married. I'm still single. Yeah, but, um, sweetheart, please. Um... How do I do this? Um, um, my fian we're supposed to go see a family. <coughs> I don't... <laughs> One millionaire. There could be something in it for you. Whoa! Who am I seeing? Surprise. How's Nancy? I, I hope she's okay. Well, if you had bothered to visit, you would have at least known. Because uh, I can see that uh, visiting is the last thing on your mind right now. Let's just say your hands are full. Look, I had every intention to visit, all right? I've even tried her number and it's not going through. I only came back a week ago. I barely settled down, honestly. Oh, really? You see, that's wonderful to hear from daddy's girl. I can see that uh, shopping is a really good way of settling down. All right, cut out the sarcasm, all right? These are work clothes. I'm only getting ready for work, oh, that's I all. Know. And I know how expensive things are here. My friend buys his dyes here, you know? I can see you must have spent a fortune. What's your point exactly? No, oh, well, 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 nothing really. It's just that it um, really shows how much. A sister loves a sister and cares for her, you know? Look, just say hi to Nancy, all right? Tell her I'll find out time to visit pretty mm. soon. Mm. See ya. Tell me. Mm. Oh, I almost forgot. The review files from the uh, South African partners. <laughs> you know, Agnes, for the first time, I believe you are human. <laughs> Why don't we take that file, put it on witness table, and let that be her first assignment? Okay, that's not a bad start. Yes. <laughs> Anything else? No, no. Please do tell Whitney that we anticipate her arrival and have yourself a lovely weekend. And you too. Okay. And you too.
not your father. You are a disgrace as a daughter. Dad, please, I... Quick, you to call me your father. My daughter is nothing like you. Go. Go. Torture. Not torture, mommy. Help. <laughs> you okay? Your dad will soon be back. He's um he's stopping by briefly for a meeting. The permanent secretary, I know. Mm. So... Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All of it. And mm -mm, don't give me that I can handle it look. Because I can see that you can't. I ran into Nancy's husband, Charles. And? And nothing. If that man said or did anything to disturb you, I will have him locked up and the keys thrown away. We calm down. He didn't say anything or do anything particularly offensive. He's... I hope not. I sincerely hope not. No, I think he was right. Hang on. Right? About what? Well, he said I hadn't visited Nancy since I got back, and, and he has a point. Oh, rubbish. <coughs> you just got back. <laughs> and you're under no obligation to pay them a visit. No, none whatsoever. Uh, that's so wrong, Mommy. Nancy is my sister, all right? She's my blood. She's not just some friend I can discard. It's my obligation to visit when I can, regardless of what Daddy has brainwashed us both with. Brainwash? Brainwash? Whatever. That still doesn't give him the right to upset you. Uh, you're overreacting, all right? I'm not upset. He did. I can see it in your eyes. Mommy, the only thing in my eyes are the longing for a sister. sister. My sister. Sister. Fine, uh, I'm going to go and find something to eat. Coffee? Oh, black coffee. But you don't take black. I needed it. How was your day? Oh, splendid. Absolutely splendid. And uh, Whitney and her shopping? Mm, I guess it was fine. Hmm. You can't believe what is happening, my dear. More contracts are coming. Oh, yes. And I am thinking to myself, why don't I throw Whitney right into the middle of it? Let her swim her way out. Learn the ropes and become the master of the game. After she has learned the ropes. Whitney Ezekiel, the architectural tycoon. Ha, 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 ha. Ah. My dear, are you okay? Mm. You, you look um, withdrawn. Oh, I'm fine. Not with that look on your face. Uh, Whitney was uh, very moody this evening. Moody? 
lady? Mm. Was the money not enough? Oh, it had nothing to do with the shopping, Douglas. She said uh, she ran into Charles in one of the boutiques. Charles, Nancy's husband. I. I also ran into that fool on my way from work. She was driving so recklessly on a very busy high road. She almost ran into me. I looked right into her eyes and I saw, I reaffirmed that my seed in her is dead. Unregrettably dead. I don't want any of them to come anywhere near my daughter, ever! It, uh, it probably had something to do with what Charles said. He, he probably made her feel guilty you know, for not seeing Nancy since she arrived. But you should have seen Whitney. She was so distraught. Oh, it's an emotional blackmail. An emotional blackmail. And Nancy does not deserve any loyalty from any of us. Not even Whitney. It, it, calm down. Uh, look, look, I am not going to allow anyone to look my daughter in the eye and utter hit, hateful words to her. I will not. I will not allow him to confront her. He has no right. Will you please? I never said he confronted her. I, it, Whitney never said that either. But well, she wouldn't, would she? And you know why? She has a good heart. She has an impeccable heart. And I don't want anyone to take on due advantage of it. No one! Calm down. I was probably making assumptions. Whitney didn't go into details. Oh, please, don't patronize me. Aren't you tired of making excuses for your, 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 your conniving, devilish daughter and her, and, and her so-called son-in-law? How can you say that, Douglas? Douglas! How can you say that I am covering for Nancy? Did I not come crying to you at the beginning? Did I not beg you? To, to pay attention to her. But what did you do? You just went from state to state, burying yourself in politics and, and neglecting your family. I gave my best. Oh, yes, you gave your best. You did your best campaigning and, and electioneering until she got rusticated. Do you think it's easy bearing and living with the pain of a prodigal child? Douglas, it has never been. Bank. I cleared all my money. 
I swear to God, if you try to deny it, I will break your head. I will break your, your stupid skull. I suppose you need an explanation. To hell I need an explanation. Of course I need an explanation. Charlie, where is my money? I want my money right now. Give it to me, oh. If you don't want my trouble, give me my money. Charlie, wait. Hey, 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 hey. Don't you, don't you listen, you, you spoiled brat. I'm going to count to three. And you'll take your filthy hands off my shirt. One. What will happen if I don't take my filthy hands off your shirt, Charlie? Charlie, else what? Hey, I will do to you what your slave driver father failed to do to you several years back to save everyone from the menace you have now become. You can do nothing. You will do nothing. Try me. Try me with me! Worthless idiot. Worthless fool! That's what you are. Oh? Yes, worthless. Empty. Everything about you. Empty. Idiot. Give me my money. Am I? Yes, you are. That is pathetic. You're the one who's about to lose a multi billion naira inheritance. Huh? And more painful is the fact that your sister, I mean, your kid's sister, Whitney, is about to take over Crystal Towers International. Who told you that? Oh, I ran into her today, coming out from the boutique. And guess what? She told me that she was shopping for work clothes. And that means a place in your father's company. CEO, I guess. Charlie, 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 Charlie. I swear to God, if you really think that this insane insinuations that you're bringing up, or should I say, diversions that you're trying to do, is going to change the fact that you have been extravagant with my money, then you're a fool. Charlie, think out my money. Isn't it striking, Nancy? Isn't it striking? You puff your life away and cry over some paltry 500,000 naira while your dear sister roams about town in royal robes as Senator Ezekiel's only daughter. Nancy, you've lost it. You've lost it. You're cut out, totally cut out from the Ezekiel's inheritance. You're dejected, rejected, frustrated. Stop it. Oh, <coughs> I didn't tell you. Your dear sister, Whitney, now drives around in a beautiful brand new Jeep. Now you compare that to that jalopy you packed out there. That, that guagged, rickety car. Will you stop it right now, Charlie's? Just stop it. I'm, I'm not finding this funny. You're weird, Nancy. Please. Stop it. Right now. You see? Okay. You see? I'm the only one who cares about you. I'm just doing you a favor, baby. Look, you were disowned and spat out of the house. And there I was. I rescued you. You were worthless when I picked you from the street, Nancy. Totally worthless. I am not worthless. I was not worthless. Oh, come on. Go ahead and prove it. Prove it, Nancy. You sit here and pick quarters at me over some, some lean allowance while your sister roams around the corridors of power. Can't you understand, Nancy? She is the enemy. She stands between you and your father's inheritance. You know, I ran into my father this morning. I saw the hate in his eyes. The animosity, the, the, the anger. Do you want me? You know what he said to me? I forbid you to call me father. I forbid you to 
ever call me father. And then he went on and said that I am nothing like his daughter, Whitney. How could my father say such a thing to me? Why? See, I told you, baby. I told you. She has taken over your place. And that place, you must take back. I will not let you with me. I will not let you. It is mine. It's my inheritance. It's mine. I will take it back from you. I will not let you. Good girl. Everything we want. Our lives could be better. You know? We wouldn't have to fight or quarrel over some lean allowance, you know. Hmm? I'm talking about millions. Millions in our possession. We could have everything we want. Go everywhere in the world we want. Talk about Tinapa. Or Bodo Cattle Ranch. Young Carry Games Reserve. Mm. The Caribbeans. Mm. Even the beaches in Miami. Just name it. But first, we must take away the enemy. And who is the enemy? that could have fetched more millions, even maybe more fame, but not more love from the heart of my daughter. Oh, I love you, Daddy. I want you to do me a favor. Anything. Nancy, you have a whole world ahead of you. All that I have worked for, all I have labored for, laid at your doorstep. Believe it. Take it. Live it. Did I hurt you? I, I, I want the best for you. I want you to trust me. Trust me in your relationship with Nancy. Please. <sighs> okay, Daddy. We'll play it to rest for now. It's... It's just that I, I... That you miss her, I know. Yeah, well, Daddy, you know you never let us spend time together. You always pulled me away from her. I try and understand, she's the only sister I have. In fact, she's the only sibling I have. She's all I've got, aside from, of course, you and Mommy. I don't think... God was kind to me. I'm not sure if he, if, he, if he loves me. Because if he does, then he should have saved your mother the burden of the birth pangs of Nancy. Well, Daddy, I believe in destiny. Nancy was destined to me, then God 
a scroll. My father. You see? You're such a spoiled brat. Is that all I have been teaching you? I need a drink, Charlie. No! What you need is a miracle. A miracle you can make happen. What is a miracle, Charlie? Look, I'm talking about you being the apple of his eyes again. Look, imagine you walking down the corridors of international business as the CEO of Crystal Tower 
Paris International. Come on, baby. What about the enemy? Uh, with me? Oh, beat her to her own game. How do you want to do that? You see? It has taken you decades to ask me this question. Look. Sweetheart. Have you heard of the game chess? It will soon be checkmate. Hmm. Hmm? Can I get that drink now, John? Be a good girl. Hmm? Good girl. Why didn't you come last night? Just calm down. I thought it was going to take forever for you to join us here. <laughs> yeah, right. With my father and myself? Impossible. <laughs> oh, it couldn't be a... There couldn't be a better day. <laughs> Please sit. Agnes, thank you so much for the welcome. I'm really flattered. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a very happy man. A very happy father. And it gives me the greatest pleasure to introduce to you the new CEO of Crystal Towers, Whitney Ezekiel. <laughs> <laughs> Um, first of all, I don't know why my father chose the name Crystal Towers. So uh, if it's crystal, it means it sparkles. It means it's pure. Mm. And it's that same sparkle and purity of unbiased leadership that my father is so popularly known for that I also have humbly come to offer. Oh. <laughs> Did you memorize that? Is it a crime? No, no. It's just that I also know a man who memorizes his speech. <laughs> it's a new dawn, my dear. It's a new dawn. You're welcome. Uh, refresh 
refreshment is prepared over there. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, young man, I hope I'm going to get the final plan today. Oh, yes, sir. Look, Whitney, uh, barrister Johnson Omoyege. Mm. Brilliant, intelligent, very loyal. And uh, Maxima Cum Laude, Uniben. Impressive CV, nice to meet you. It, it's my pleasure, madam. And uh, meet uh, Whitney, your new boss. Oh, sorry, madam. I could not make it earlier on. Nice. I had to fix some of them. Oh, yes. That's fine. All right. Well, right. Whitney, let me take you to your office. Oh. Oh, yes. I have an office already. Oh, Just yes. Your father. <laughs> oh, what? Money for my spa treatment, Charlie. Wait till your father pays in the lien allowance. Fool! You lazy fool! Thank you. of this change of leadership. Business followers expect a new wave of eithers and expertise of the firm considered to be ranked one of the best five in Africa, Whitney Ezekiel 26, will be directly coordinating operations as the MDCEO, a feat most people believe is suitable for the Guinness Book of Records. Bravo! <laughs> 26 year old executive, Whitney Ezekiel, MDCEO Crystal Towers International. <laughs> Don't you think you should? Don't you think you should give her a call? Hmm? There might be a vacancy for an office assistant. Don't tell my emotions, Charles. Don't! Hey, I didn't read the news. Does this 
bring to light all I've been telling you, Nancy? What? So while she sits in a well-cushioned office with Italian furniture, Arabian feetings, all the media attention, and all the razzmatazz of the corporate business world, and you're here, relegated, confined to abject penury, and of course, forgotten. Poor you, Nancy. Poor sorry you. Poor helpless dear Nancy. Oh. Just do it. Hmm? You heard me, I mean. Do it. Did I hear you say something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, there it is. Yes. Yes. And I was wondering that if we could. Dad? Daddy, how do they know? Well, who are they? they? I just got off the phone with mommy and she said the handing over was on the news this morning. Oh. Well, let's just say that the name Douglas uh, Ezekiel arouses, attracts media, media attention. Daddy? Well, let's just say that the press boys know how to do their job. Oh, Dad, Dad, come on. All right, all right. I give up. Tell her. I set it up. We had a press conference yesterday. Do you know what you've done? You put me on national TV. You put me out there. Actually, it was on satellite too. Oh, God. That attracts too much attention and that's not good. My dear, business is propaganda. All I did was uh, make a little noise just to get investors knocking on our doors. And to show that we are poised to take up new and innovative ideas. Exactly. How long has she been working with you? Since I've been crystal, long before it became a tower. I've worked with your dad for 11 years. So I'll be right to say you know my father like the back of your palm. <coughs> Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that is why she's getting so well paid. Too. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, so how do you like your office? It's all right. But this is much bigger. So, Daddy, when am I taking over this office? <laughs> <laughs> well, Miss Whitney, board meeting in 10 minutes. Are you ready? Oh, you'll get to know who she is. She, she's a slave driver, that one. Beautiful. Come. I don't understand what you mean by just do it. But just take her out of the picture, okay? Erase our memory. Unfortunately, Lollipop. That wouldn't help your case with your father. And it wouldn't bring the millions either. Look, you don't understand. This is a very sensitive case. I don't know. I mean, you're the brain box, you know? Uh, 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 uh. We are the brain box. I'm just the rigger. But you are the trigger. Don't you understand? You are the trigger! English, you know. Charles, you can't. Once in a while. No, it's better in French. <sighs> no, listen. Your problem is that of a dented reputation, right? I guess so. Your father doesn't trust you. All he sees is that angelic picture of Whitney. He disowned you. He did that because of the secure of Whitney's existence. That is, Whitney became your replacement. And 
so you were thrown into pity land. But, sweetheart, if your father sees Whitney as bad as you are, then he wouldn't have thrown you out. Reason? <laughs> he is an African. He wouldn't want to go empty handed Just baby. I I don't quite understand. I mean, what exactly are you trying to say? Ever played the switch game before? No, what's that? <laughs> no, listen. What we're going to do is to switch lanes. Okay. You become Whitney, that is special girl. And Whitney becomes Nancy, the rejected queen. Kamish. <laughs> That's your plan? Mm -hmm. that sounds too easy to be true. It's easy. Come on, Nancy. Listen, Whitney is weak, vulnerable, and she likes to play superhero. She likes to play the good girl. Yeah, that's true. And she loves you. That is our too. Mm. <laughs> you know, I don't know, Charlie. This just sounds too good to be true, you know? Too good to be true? Yeah. Do you have an alternative? Uh, not exactly. I mean, you're the one who's good at scamming, so... Oh, you're never good at anything, man. Yeah, whatever. All right. So, stick with me and... Let's do it. Are you really sure? Come on! Let's celebrate, baby! To the new CEO of Crystal. I like the sound of that. <laughs> Towers! <laughs> I like that. Mm, take it again, take it again. To the new MD CEO of Crystal Times International. <laughs> My man <fancy>. say <laughs> two I'll be your secretary for now. So if you need anything, 777 is the number. Oh, Lua, she knows. <laughs> hey, what's the rush? Have a seat. Let's chat. Hey. Okay. So tell me, what else is there to know about this great company? Gossips? Well, if that's what you call it. Let's just say we call them gists. Okay. Any? Everyone is jittery. Everyone is pensive. Why? We have a new CEO. Besides, they're wondering who is the lucky man. Nobody. None? Nope, none. Why? Well, not with this desk right here in front of me. I don't see no data written on it. Well, let's just say I have more pressing priorities at the moment. Like? Like bringing my sister back into the family. Do you really think that's a good idea? Oh, don't even sound like my father, please. Don't. Okay. I'll give you time to work. See you later. All right. Bye. Are you okay, madam? I'm fine. Why? Well, where's mommy? She's 
Hello, darling. I for your first day at work. I wasn't expecting that look on your feet. Good afternoon, Mom. Good afternoon, darling. Let me guess. Your father gave you an idea of what to expect as the new CEO of Crystal Tars, and you're fagged out. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> Douglas. He never stops. Oh, you should have heard that newscaster just went on and on. Maybe I should give you my award first b before you get into the Guinness Book of Records. Yeah, wouldn't that be exciting? <laughs> I'm sure. Um, I'm trying to organize an evening out with the Madukas. Probably dinner. You know, they're, they're very good family friends. And um, more importantly, I understand Henry's back from France and has been asking after you. Me? Why? Don't be naive. He's not bad. Whatever, mommy. Okay. Look, mommy, I really need to find out from you. Did Nancy change her number? I have never had Nancy's number. Mommy, when last did you speak to her? Not in the, not in the last. <sighs> Fine. Okay. Um, do they still live at uh, where Abiola Crescent? With me. I understand that the cook is preparing vegetable soup. Now, what would you like with it? I won't be having it. Yes, madam. What's that? It is written, madam. Did she change her clothes? No, madam. Now, can that person talk? Who? Ah, okay, if you don't want to talk, you can stay there for all I care. Nancy, Ezekiel, open up. Whitney! My nose is 
sister of mine. Long time no see. <laughs> Hmm. Three years. I know, it's been long, eh? I've missed you. You've missed me. And it took you about a whole week to come see me since you returned for somebody who has missed me no, so much. No, it's not that. It's Daddy, the man practically plans my daily activities. I haven't had time for myself, honestly. <laughs> what do I expect? I mean, with all that is coming your way these days, how could you ever find time to call? Or come, or at least even just send a teeny 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 text. Oh, what are you talking about? Please, I've been calling your phone. Look, is that not your number? Please, don't even mind that one. You know how daddy is. He just felt I needed a new car to go with my new status. Oh, of course, of course. Let's go inside, Whitney. I I don't want any pressmen taking any pictures of both of us. I hear you're the biggest new thing now in the world of business. Oh, I even saw you on the news this morning. Oh, the girl that you have become. <sighs> Bitch. Uh, look, I know, I know this place is not well furnished. I know that your office is two times better than this. But what can we do? Some of us are not as favored, you know? Whatever. Back to your phone number. All right. Fine. Yeah, my number got missing. My phone got missing, rather. I couldn't just go to the regals or buy a come backpack, so I got another phone. I said, can you tell me it? Look, forget about that. With me. <clears throat> look around you. Just look, look everywhere. With me, I'm suffering. Look. I live from hand to mouth with me. I live in actual poverty. Penury. No, come on, Nancy. It can't be that bad. I mean, look at you. You oh. look... You look beautiful. Forget about all this that you're looking at, oh. Forget about all this. Do you know that I, I have a friend down the road? I practically have to kneel, begging her every time, pleading with her to give me clothes on credit. Credit with me. Why? So that I can at least look good for my husband. So he won't go chasing all those dirty, you know, those dirty girls in town. With me. Do you know he hardly even looks at me these days? <laughs> I know it's been like a flick. It's okay, Nancy. It's alright. Don't cry. Everything will be fine, alright? Everything will not be fine. Don't patronize me, okay? Don't! How can everything be fine? Look at you! You have everything you want. That gives you everything you want. You, you have a new car. He has given you a place in the office. Look at the clothes you wear. With me, you, you go to the best boutiques in town to go and shop for couture. Look at, look at, look at you. Look at you. Look at me. Look at me. I've been abandoned. Rejected. The black okay, sheep. Stop it. I know how you feel. Trust me. Okay. But. You don't know how I feel. You don't! How could you possibly know how I feel? Because that, that, that carries you, he adores you, he, 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 he carries you like an egg. He feeds you, gives you anything you want, you know? But me, I'm just... Oh, just leave me to me. Look. Everything will be fine. Just give give daddy some more time. He's he's just hurt. He'll hurt. Come. Did I hear you say hurt? That he's so hurt that he can't forgive me. His own daughter, he can't forgive me with me. Why? Why? That's fine. Things will be back to normal, I promise. I'm around now. How is it going to be fine? It's already getting worse. I saw that a week ago. You did? 
to wow. do what he said to me. Mm -hmm. He said, I forbid you to ever call me father. You know what else he said? You are nothing like my daughter. Do you know who he was talking about with me? He was talking about you. You. You shouldn't have let her go. Oh, Douglas, please, give me a break. What else was I supposed to do? You should have got the, the gates locked. Douglas, lock the gates? That is so uncivilized. Maybe. But if being uncivilized can bring some senses into her, then it would have been worth it. Douglas, she is just as stubborn as you are. Um. You know, I don't know why daddy's been so stone cold and unforgiven. Get over it. He detests me, that's why. You know, the worst part is that he has actually even brainwashed mom to act the same way towards me. It's all good. I mean, it's really after seven years, you should get a grip. You're family and there's nothing we can do about it. We are one. No. We are not family, you. I don't want her anywhere near Nancy. A wish to which she turns deaf ears to. I'm on one side, you guys are on one side. Oh, it's daddy. Huh? Where are you? Uh, daddy, uh, what? Don't play games with me. Where the hell are you? I'm at a restaurant. In a restaurant? Alone? Yeah, yes, alone. I want you to co to come back home immediately. Okay. Yes, Daddy, I'll be there. Soon. I have to go soon. With me. Are you so ashamed of me that you can't even tell Dad that you're with me? Oh no 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 no! It's not like that. I, Mom and I had an argument before I came here, and so. No, really, I had an argument with mommy before I came here and I don't want to stay true. Ah. And to think that for a minute I actually thought you were my sister. And I laid my whole life before you. I, I was lamenting, telling you everything about my life and then I, everything I, else. I, I am your sister. And then, and then, do you know how daddy is? I, hmm. We have to take things slowly. I, don't, I just didn't want to get him started. Whitney. Get up. Leave my house. <laughs> yeah, come on, go. Me to leave come house. and go now. Come on. Did I invite you to my house with me? Did I invite you to my house? You came with your own two legs. Come and go. Don't let me say what I don't want to say. Come and go. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming. See you. Uh, Whitney. Um. Look, I don't have a dime on me. I don't know if you can give me a raise. I want you to know I love you dearly I, and I miss you. I just wish things could go back to the way they used to be, all right? I am your sister and if you need anything, anything at all, just let me know. How much is it? Enough for now. 
You didn't open this check. Um, I'll confirm it. All right, good. Thank you, thank you. You can go. Hey, I've suffered. Look at this bitch. Charlie. It's just, I need answers, Daddy. I, I just want to understand. That's all. Sit down. Junior secondary school, when I realized that my daughter, your sister, whom I sent to England to study business administration, had engaged herself in futility. She neither went to lectures not studied. All she did was either host or attended parties. Your mother visited her several times. But she was cautioned. engaged a guard, a sort of guardian, to keep an eye on her and report to us about her activities. But soon, she began to sleep with that one. Oh yes, she was sleeping with him in return or concealing what she was actually doing. Each time we called, However, a few months later, a gangster she was dating caught her in bed with the, her guard. He beat her unconscious. That was when I decided to bring her home, but not before she was rusticated for Examination malpractice. You had just gone into university when I brought her back. And I decided that um, I was not going to let her go into the, the same university with you because I was afraid of uh, the kind of influence she might have on you. So. I decided that um, she went to a federal university. And what happened? What did she get up to? Nancy. <laughs> 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 
sorry. I'm sorry. That. <sighs> I bought something for you. She returned home drunk. And we kept on hearing tales of her escapades around the city. I scolded. I screamed. I yelled. But Nancy got more adamant. She got worse. And it pierced my heart. Her late nights continued. By this time, she drifted into political circles. Most of those men were my political opponents and partners. I concealed and bore the thought in my heart until a fateful night. Your father was invited by the party chairman to his hotel room, ostensibly to discuss strategies for upcoming elections. Upcoming election, the party decision is to see your Douglas in the Senate, while I want to see Alaji Taku's man in the House of Representatives. Uh, but my cue, this decision is still a classified one. Mm -hmm. But you people don't have any problem because at the party hierarchy, the decision is, is sealed. <laughs> I feel so honored. And I promise that I'm not going to let you down. And I'm not going to let anybody down. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I am equally honored and humbled at this incredible opportunity that's been given to me to serve my country and indeed my party as well. <laughs> I'm impressed, I'm impressed. Uh, I guess we are done with this meeting. Oh, oh, excuse me. Hello? Oh, Musa. Oh, they are here. <laughs> that is wonderful, beautiful. Uh -huh. Send two to my suits. Suit six and one one to other party members, okay? Do I make myself clear? Do that. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. <laughs> Gentlemen, <laughs> this meeting is uh, over. Uh, you better run along to your various rooms. Uh, <laughs> uh, the important uh, matters are rising. <laughs> so, so come by and uh, I hope you all understand. <laughs> so why are you waiting for? Do <laughs> oh, you all understand? Yeah, who doesn't? <laughs> oh, I don't. I think it is an unnecessary distraction. Oh, we all know you, Sir Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Chairman, I am not a saint. I am only a loving husband with an angelic wife oh. and two most wonderful daughters. Oh, oh lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, yeah. permission to follow up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Have a nice day. What are you guys doing? You're them I mean, I'm expecting a consignment. Um, hey, all right. <laughs> okay. Hey, Chief, Chief. Dad! Oh. Uh, uh, do, do you... 
daughter. Your daughter. <laughs> Of all this, where was Nancy? Where was she? She was crying and crying and asking for forgiveness, refusing to eat anything, just crying continuously. So, your father, feeling that she was better off within the family than on the streets, took her back in. Wife and, and children. What happened? <laughs> Left to their fate. There are worse cases, I must add. Mm. No doubt. I have no doubt. Ah, Nancy. <laughs> hey, I'm Hi. coming to you, Jack. This is my goddaughter. She's Hi. such a grown woman <laughs> now. How are you, darling? Good evening, Auntie. Good evening. Good evening, good evening Uncle. Good. good evening. How are you? <laughs> and where are you coming from? You left this house yesterday. That I had a flat. Oh, really? And you had a flat battery, too? Your handset was switched off. That I was actually... Now get out of my sight! <sighs> that was rather harsh, I guess. She deserves a no less. It seems you're having problems with her. No. Hmm. Is staying out one of her habits? <laughs> Everything is a habit with Nancy. Oh. Young adults could be quite a disturbing case at times. I and Jack can help her. Hmm. It's her specialty. And with a session or two, you'll notice a change. That's right. I'm not uh, bothered about Nancy. I keep my eyes on Whitney. 
she attends the best school. Her results excellent. And her GP is steadily crawling towards first class. Well, our hope is not lost on Nancy. We can help her. to the office. Barbara and your mom to the seminar. And uh, Jack was left to take Nancy on a few counseling sessions. I opened up my study to aid the process and we left the house. Headed straight for the study. And different now, Daddy. That was a long time ago. She must have changed. Nancy can never change. She will never change. Maybe you haven't given her the opportunity to show you that she has. You've completely shut your heart against her. No. She locked herself out of my heart. As sad as it is for you, I cannot find the key.
What's the occasion? Oh, plenty. Guess what? Whitney visited. Mm, ah, finally. Ah, baby. I played her emotions like Carla Santana plays on the lead guitar. Ah! Baby, you need to see me. I could have won an Oscar. I was smoking hot. Mm -hmm. And guess what? She promised to talk to daddy. <laughs> Still news. It won't work, Nancy. It will work. You always talk to Mystic, okay? In any case, how about our plan? How is that coming off? Well, um, it's on the seashore. Mm -hmm. It will be rolling out soon. All right. You did a good job by making her open up. <laughs> oh, baby, you know, it's not often you actually give me my credit, so right now I like the sound of that. Thank you. And guess what? I did more job. Mm -hmm. Look at that. You mean that little brat can afford a token of a hundred thousand naira? <laughs> Me too, I tell you. Baby, that tells you how much that girl has in a bank account. Mm hmm Probably millions. What are you talking about? Much more! Don't compound my woes, okay? I actually had that kind of money in my account if you were not spending it on your stupid fruitless journeys anyway. Right oh now. yes, you can remember with a very good old family friend. Okay. I'm so glad you could make it. Oh, what do you miss it? Oh, Lizzie, always regal as usual. Look at you, Sophie. You're ageless. Thank you. <laughs> Whitney. Nancy. You look beautiful. Thank you very much. You can say that again more. Ah, oh, Henry, how are you? Nice to see you again. Hello, Henry. Much. You're welcome. Thank hey, you. Charming beauty. Hey. <laughs> uh, where's Louise? Oh. He's on the phone. Oh, I'll get him. Oh, very nice. Thank you. Thank you, Henry. Uh, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Coming. Thank you, Henry. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, ah, I'm a minister. See little Douglas Ezekiel. <laughs> You're welcome. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you. So, at last, uh, the legislative has finally. The legislative has met with the executive. Executive, yes. <laughs> executive. <laughs> Hello, Louis. Mm, the madam. Always a charm and beauty. <laughs> well, more charming is her daughter. Eh? I'll be damned if I didn't notice her. Hello, sir. How are you? You know, Louis, she is a graduate of uh, architecture, first class honors, you know. Yes, Henry said that. That's quite a great fit. Oh, yes. Oh, she has brains to go with the beauty. <laughs> <laughs> you see, today's generation, you know, 
Well, I maybe you've not heard that Henry has opened a bank in France. A bank in France? Yes. Wonderful. A bank. Now that is incredible. Thank you, madam. Actually, Whitney has taken over the running of uh, Crystal Towers. Crystal Towers? Oh, yes. <laughs> this generation is, uh, is like taking this bull by the horn every day. Yes, I just hope that they will take the bull to the altar. No, I, I think my son here is already taking a step in that direction. In that direction, yes. <laughs> no, I'm just taking my time. Uh, any prospects, Henry?